Let's move on to other topics of the day, and it was a dramatic arrest usually reserved for murderers and terrorists, but it was conman Peter Foster who was on the receiving end of a very rough takedown. Nine's Carl Stefanovic sets the scene. You couldn't get a prettier morning in Port Douglas than last Thursday. But for notorious con man Peter Foster, it was a case of paradise one minute, purgatory the next. On Four Mile Beach, two Queensland police officers dressed as joggers crash tackle Foster into the golden sand to arrest him on multiple fraud and money laundering charges. <coughs> this arrest marks another sensational chapter in the life and crimes of 57-year-old Peter Clarence Foster, who has been doggedly pursued for the last decade by fraud investigator Ken Gamble. The vision prompted many to ask, why? Why was it necessary for such force considering his age and the location of the arrest? Some went as far as to suggest it was a made-for-TV arrest, especially considering the drone and 60 Minutes camera crew. Um, ben, he is a wanted criminal. There are reports that he had inquired about hiring a hitman to kill the man who ended up helping police to arrest him. But what do you think of this takedown? Was it fair? Is it the way it should be done? There is a presumption of innocence before uh, you know, you're found guilty. Mm, I think it's very clear, though, that this man seems like he has... Uh, or, you know, he has committed a crime. I mean, they've been following this man for quite some time. I mean, yeah, but that, I thought okay, it was but really... Even if he has committed a crime, did that kind of excessive mm. force, was that warranted? You know, like, he was literally walking. They could have gone up to him and said, mate, you're coming with us, and he, there's two big burly guys around him. Where's he going to run to? He's got no gun on him or anything like that. What is the worst thing that could happen here? Instead, they're crash tackling him to the ground. The drone shot from 60 Minutes is going. It really was just to... It, it, this was made yeah, for TV. It does, it, look, it does come along, come across like a bit of a movie-making moment, but I would also say in that footage, no matter how old he is, he did certainly put up a pretty good fight. I would too if I was tackled think. to the ground. Mm. If two guys just came and tackled me to the ground and I didn't know who they were, I'm not just going to lie there and cop it. I'm going to fight back. Mm, I don't necessarily agree. I think that at the end of the day, this man is a criminal. They have done a lot of investigating to know that he is a cr criminal. I also do believe that... So you he know, deserves we need any punishment the... the arresting officers decide to dish out? I, in this regard, I'm just going to say that from that footage, it did look like it was shot for a movie-making moment, and I understand that. Well, some that. movies I mean, haven't been there. shot as well as that. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know why you're yelling at me, but anyway, I'm sorry, I would say... just excitable, Ben. I'm not yelling. Okay, well, <laughs> uh, time to switch to decaf coffee. But I would also like to say it do did definitely look like it was shot for a movie-making moment for television. Uh, I think that the idea of the drone being there to capture it with that 60 Minutes thing was a little bit outrageous. But I don't have any issue with those police officers dressing up as someone else and tackling him to the ground and, and arresting him. I really don't. But why couldn't they just say, Peter Foster, you're under the arrest on these charges, come with us now. And then if he tried to run, all bets are off. Tackle him all you want. Do whatever it takes to bring him down. But he didn't even have the chance to acknowledge who they were. They've tackled him. You can't say he resisted arrest because he resisted two thugs jumping on top of him. Hmm. I don't care. I think he's a criminal and he was arrested. I think the idea of it being shot for 60 minutes is a bit murky and I don't exactly, that doesn't bode well with me. But at the end of the day, I don't have an issue with uh, people being arrested when they basically are known to be convicted criminals. So that's how I but, feel. But he hasn't been convicted. I trust on this. the police. He hasn't been I'm not convicted not one of those on these people. charges. Yes, he has prior But form. I'm not. I'm not going down this line. Like, we, we do this on the show all the time. We just keep playing footage of police doing this sort of stuff and it just continues to add to this narrative that all police are bad and I think there's a percentage hang on, hang of police on. Whoa, that whoa, are bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I take big like issue with every, that, Ben, because yeah. on this very show there have been so many times all of us have defended the police when somebody has come attacking the police and the police have retaliated. We have been sat here and said... Not fair call to the police. So you can't come and call us police bashers because that's just not right. We judge each and every case on its individual merits. And in this occasion, in my humble opinion, I just think it was an excessive use of force that wasn't required. They should have said to him, we are arresting you. And as I said, he's a big open space. These are two fit men. He's not exactly healthy. 
If he tries to run, take him down. But this just seemed, this just reeked of PR BS to me, Robbo. But it seems uh, like yes, that was, uh, but, yeah, sorry, but, Robbo. It's your turn. Uh, I, I, I look. We'd have to look into this, but some of that footage is actually by IFW, which is a private investigative firm who Kim Gamble works for, and who was the one that took down, um, who took down Peter Foster. So yes, there was definitely a sixty minutes camera crew with a sounder and a cameraman. Um, the the there, were, there was other vision in that report that was from IFW. Uh, I, maybe the drone was from that too. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't think so. But. It's uh, well, some of that vision was IFW, though, Rob. You can't okay, deny sure, that. Sure, so, sure, sorry. Um, so, uh, but this is nothing new, though. Do you remember that wonderful moment when Liz Hayes walked into a room with a camera crew and got a convicted pedophile? It, it was it was good television. Um, they they got someone, so it was good for justice. So this is nothing really new. However, I do have a problem with. I don't mind 60 minutes being there for the arrest. I would really hope that it wasn't like, can you beef it up for us, mate, because we need some ratings? Uh, because I don't think that he should have been arrested like that at all. Uh, he should have. He was on a beach for yeah. broadness sake. Um, and it was way too rough. I, I, I have been trying to do research if there's a comment from the police saying exactly why they needed to use that force. There's been no comment. Um, I, I, it was way too heavy-handed and, and, and ridiculous. Yeah, couldn't agree more. It's a Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Ben.